Hey guys, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. I, uh, I missed recording the part where I went from the pitcher to the fan, but it's pretty easy. You know, just wait for the, for the, to be tipping over, flip the flag, get into the pitcher, and when he's holding up the pitcher, just go into the fan. Pretty easy. Okay, there, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. But it looks like, okay, yeah, I already read this. Blah, 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 we already read this part. Uh, fate changed. And now we're in the fan, so I believe we'll start in the fan. Mm -hmm. If we mess up. Okay, so let's trick. Wait for it. Now! No. Now! Into the paper. Wait, what? Oh. It's okay. We're good. Now this is the tricky part. Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. If the minister's going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I have to use my head instead. Okay. Okay, this is a very complicated puzzle. Basically, what we have to do is, um... Now, where's the globe? Globe? Okay, I think I can get to the other side by doing this. Actually? Okay, yeah, let's... There's the globe up there. Okay, what happens? That's not what we want. We need the... We need it to be... We need the globe. We need to get the globe on the other side. Basically, what we want to do... Actually, let me test it real quick. I think I can get back to the other one. What we have to do is we have to get... Yeah! There we go. What we have to do is we have to get that globe onto this side of the room. And then we, um, we get the globe onto that sword. Once the globe is onto the sword, we ghost trick it and it launches the pills to the other side of the room. I see. But how do we get the globe onto the other, onto that side of the room? This thing is pretty heavy. It's a, it's got a good swing to it. It's sharp enough to cut the medicine bottle in two, though. And it's not long enough, is it? Such a reckless man! Huh? Only cowards like to keep weapons around. What a truly dangerous thing to have around! I'm, in any case... I bet I could use this sword somehow. Yeah, so that's the sword we gotta use. Okay, I think I remember there being a ramp. Oh, you can raise that arm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You really should pay more attention to the thing on the side. Okay. So, um... Okay, so this will, you know, turns the globe around if we want to turn it around. And actually using the globe causes it to spin out of its holder. Okay. Well, isn't that what you want? Do you, does the globe need to be in its holder? Trick. Okay, now let's go to the other side. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, wait, the, the, the salute. Salute arms! Alright. Uh, now we just go over here. And we undo this. Oh wait, I think I messed it up. I think... I recall making a ramp with this thing. But I think you're supposed to... Move something first. Oh, jeez. No, wait a second. Oh, wait. Go. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Go back. To the other side. Oh, I gotta... I gotta lower the arm to go back to the other side? Whatever. Go back to the other side. Okay. Okay. This doesn't do... Those don't do jack swap. Okay. Okay, I see... I think I know what you had to do. Had to lower the one side so it... Undo the one side so it lowers and then spin the thing off so it goes up the ramp or... Hmm. Backwards. So, 
You know what? I think I already messed up, so I'm just going to play around with the globe real quick. What does the globe do? The globe... Oh, it had to be spun around. Okay, so this had to be facing that way. Kaboom. All right, let's get back to fate change. Yeah, fate change. Here we go. After fate change. <coughs> okay, cool. I'm in the fan. Let's start it up. Get into the paper, which takes us across. Yeah, I know about the medicine, Sizzle. <sighs> Excuse me. Wait a second, I want to see... Huh. Okay. Salute. So, what happens if I shake this? Oh, that turns it around. Actually, I think I wanted it to be the other way. Okay, here's my theory. We shake this fruit out. Oh, wait a second. Let me try something. What? No, no, no. Go back into the suit of armor. Go back in the suit of armor. No, it's too short. Yeah, you had to turn that the other way, I think. Yeah. So, well, it's, it's hard to tell which way the damn fruit's gonna go. You see how that curve is? Yeah. The fruit's gonna go out from the curve. And the globe is the opposite. It's so annoying. It's inconsistent. Wait, the globe is the opposite? I think so. Uh, you got, gotta lower the arm. Okay. Open the curtain. I mean, close the curtain. Okay. So, I think the globe goes in the direction that curve is going. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so what happens if I trick this and turn it around? And then go in the globe and... And trick the globe. Oh! You figured it out? Yeah. Oh, I think we have to make... I think we have to make a, a seesaw. Yeah. Okay. So you use... Oh, so... You gotta get the fruit on the thing so it balances it to make a seesaw. Yeah. Okay. So we trick that. And then we have to go all the way back to trick this. And I got a salute to get up. I don't like that saluting part. They should have. That's just annoying. Okay, because you have to go all the way over here, which drops down, which makes that. Okay, so... I... Wait a so, second. Wait a second. What? What happens if I go over here? Oh, wait. Okay, so here's what I think we gotta do. We gotta set up this so it's a seesaw, right? Mm-hmm. Then we get this to roll onto here. And once it's on there, we go back here, and we use the fruit to knock this down onto that, launching this onto that. Oh, okay. That's what I'm pretty sure we have I to do. I didn't follow half of that, but sure. Okay, so let me just make sure that I can roll the... I think I can roll the globe onto the, um, onto the seesaw. Just want to confirm that. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, it's on the seesaw. Uh, the the time down. is passing. It's, well, there's nothing I can do. I've already messed up because I, I, messed, I messed up with the fruit, but oh. I figured it out. I know how to do it now. Okay. So let's go back to fate change. I just have to remember which side the damn fruit goes on. 
So it goes on the side facing away from the curve. Yes. Okay. Opposite of how the other Okay, works. so let's get the fan going. We're wasting time here. Okay. Get into the paper. I know what I'm doing now. I know exactly what I'm doing. As long as I get the fruit and everything to go. Ah, uh, shut up! Blah, 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 blah. We're wasting time, so I'm going to talk about stuff over and over again. Maybe I can hammer it into your head. Like a hammerhead shark. Okay, so... we got to set up our seesaw first. Let's go across the room. So you... Raise the arm. Raise the arm. we got to turn the globe around. It's facing the wrong direction. Turn around. Every now and then you need a okay. seesaw to launch a medicine first, bottle. Okay, we got to get the bottle down first. Yeah, we yes. got to get the bottle down first. So globe roll. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Now we got to knock the uh, the sword holder down. Okay, go back to the other side. Probably gonna knock that part of the sword holder down. For, oh, they were saying something. Are they still saying it now? No. Okay. Turn around. Knock, okay, knock the sword down. You could have turned the thing around first. Now they're to. saying crap. It's a pretty light frame for its size. There sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen bat! Huh? He, he deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head! I don't know about fallen man, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Yeah, we figured it out, Cecil. Cecil, whatever. I gotta we spin it. Go down. Oh, that's right. We gotta spin it. But we're not, um, yeah, so... Oh, right, 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 right. No, you we gotta don't, go we don't to the... rock it. We want to turn it. Um, so, turn it. Okay, now get to the globe. Yeah, gotta get to the globe. I gotta... Lower. Lower the... I don't like that part. I really don't. But, whatever. Okay, so we go back across the room. We gotta get the globe onto the seesaw now. Okay, trick. It's on the seesaw. Okay, now we go across the room. Good, we're almost there. Uh, salute. Okay. And rock and roll. Boom! Yes! Now, okay. Get down to the sword. Swing. Swing, bada bada! Boom! Boom! Successful! We did it! My medicine! Wouldn't it have sucked if he had dropped it again? You son of a bitch! Well, we would have just batted it back uh, over. Overdose much? There! The minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe he took too much medicine. Such a greedy man! Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? He's singing. Ding, da da da. I think it went Figaro. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Tell me about it. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He he greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something for his, from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. <laughs> know yourself. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. And we're going back. So the justice minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brown, uh, not his brown, his brow, are even deeper now. And apparently, our lady detective is the present cause of those pharaohs. Pharaohs. 
Look, detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me! M Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to, to gather new evidence in that case tonight. Well, what? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Uh, unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But, but... When, he, when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No! But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Trick time. Yeah, yeah, Sissel, you want to talk to us, but, uh, tell you what, let's do that next time on the Splattergy Guides! Saving! <laughs>